Welcome to Easy Learn. In this video, I am going to explain about 8086 microprocessor kit. So this kit is from VA Microsystems and it is specially built for the lab experiment. Let us first identify the parts in this kit. So here we are having the 8086 processor which is nothing but the heart of this entire system so followed by here you can see 8253 which is nothing but the timer counter so followed by here you can see some set of ic's these ic's are transceivers as well as latches followed by here you can see two e probes which holds both monitor program as well as user program one will holds the odd memory address one will holds the even memory address likewise here we can see two ram so odd address will be in one ic and even address data will be in another ic likewise here you can see the display followed by here you can see two eight two double five which is nothing but parallel communication interface each one will have three ports therefore totally we will have six ports each port will have eight lines followed by here we can see 8251 which is nothing but it's an UART universal asynchronous receive transmit which will be used for serial communication followed by here we are having a reset button which is to reset the program execution likewise here we are having an external interrupt which is to give external interrupts here you can see a usb port which is for connecting the keyboard likewise here these are used to connect the external peripheral devices so now i am going to connect the external keyboard and i am going to power on the kit okay so initially it will show vi microsystem followed by micro 8086eb after that only we can type our code okay so in this mode here the kit will be in monitor mode that means the pre-written code will execute like kernel okay so kernel execution will be done after executing it will be moved to user program okay at that time monitor program will be stopped and it will go for executing the user program so initially before typing the code here we need to start the assembler and its starting address so for that here we need to give a okay link assembler and here starting address here i am giving the address as thousand okay so now the pointer will point the memory location thousand so here i am going to write the code so first i am going for the instruction move followed by a x come on here i am giving the 16 bit data here i am giving it as one 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 okay so here i am giving it as an immediate data so respective machine code will be generated as c7 c0 and its respective value 1111 okay totally if you count this value here we need to have here we require 4 byte memory location because here first two will occupy first byte second c naught will occupy second byte one one will occupy next byte one one will again occupy another memory location totally we need to have four memory location therefore if you press enter it will go for the memory location one zero zero four because previous four memory locations are occupied so here i am giving the next instruction move bx comma second immediate data i am giving it as 2222 two, 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 h okay so here 
respective machine code here also it's required for memory location therefore here which shows the next address as 1008 here we can give the next instruction as add a x comma b x therefore here it's a two byte instruction therefore which require two memory location therefore the next address will be 100 a after addition here the result will be in accumulator therefore from accumulator we need to move it to some memory location so for that here we are using the instruction move and here i am considering the address as 1100 in this address i am going to store the accumulator value a x value therefore here also it's a 4 byte instruction therefore which occupy 4 byte memory location and the next location will be 100 e here i am going to halt the program so h l t it's a single byte instruction so after completing the code first we need to press the reset button then we need to execute it so for that go we need to give the starting address of the program so here we have started from the memory location 1000 therefore i am giving the starting address as 1000 so now it get executing okay after that we need to press reset and we need to go and check value okay. so here we need to use substitute byte sd followed by the stored memory location here we are used 1100 as a memory location where we need to store the result okay so after substituting it we need to press enter so the lower byte here the value is 33 and in the higher byte here the value is 33 okay these values will be stored in the memory location 1100 as well as 1101 because the result is 16 bit wide but the memory location can store only 8 bits that's the reason why the next memory location will be occupied with the higher byte value likewise here we are having some other execution also tr which is nothing but trace okay so if we are having any errors we can use this trace instructions to execute so for example tr before that i am substituting the value sb 1100 in that value here initially i am having the value as 33 because already i have executed and the memory location will be stored with the value of that 33 so i am clearing the value by making the value as 0 0 okay now both these values are clear now i am going for trace instruction so from a current execution if we want to go to the reset mode here by pressing dot we can move it okay so here we can go for tr followed by here the starting address 1000 okay so here it's a single step execution so initial step is here the first instruction which is nothing but move a x comma 1111 okay that instruction is executed okay so in that time we can go and check the memory location whether the data is updated or not okay like we we can go for the registers values also okay so here reset sd here the memory location 1100 so here that particular register value is not updated likewise here t r again i am executing by single step here the first instruction is executed which is nothing but move a x comma 1111 then 
in the second instruction here move vx comma 2 2 2 2 next the third instruction add ax comma bx now the result will be an accumulator again in the fourth instruction here we are going to move the data into the memory location 1 1 0 0 okay now here we can halt the program by pressing dot and we can go and check the memory location 1 1 0 0 here that particular location is updated with the value of its result okay if you check it in the previous instruction here the location values won't get updated so in the program if there any error means we can check it by using the single step execution using the trace instruction so here the internal registers values can be seen using the instructions or okay so here it's a register b okay so this is the register view instruction using some other program you can check all the register values using this instruction r